What is going on, everybody? So, we're back with the Ultimate Basher build. The Ultimate Basher build and just a couple things that I've done uh, since I got this thing going a little bit. Uh, pretty much all together, I got the ESC in, uh, which we're going with the castle system. Uh, so that's ready to go. Uh, I exchanged out the plastic. There was plastic uh, center diff carriers in here that were holding it in. I got the the aluminum ones or the CNC hardened steel ones. Put those in. Uh, I ordered the orange springs from Techno. I got these orange springs here. I thought they would uh, work quite a bit better uh, for the setup that I'm running here. So we got to put those in. And then I figured while I'm doing some of that, we want the ultimate basher, so let's go with some uh, GPN, GPM. Sorry, I'm sick, so I'm trying to get through this. So I want to do some GPN, GPM um, dog bones, CVDs, basically, for the front and the rear. So we'll exchange those out, exchange the springs out. Uh, I got the body posts put on, and then I started on the body. I kind of got it cut to go on. I gotta do graphics yet that I'm gonna do, but uh, I think this should work pretty well for a body. Black and it kind of fades to blue at the very end, but there'll be there'll be a little bit more uh, along the lines of it. And I put the low profile wing mount on here just because I think wings are, are cool. Um, they look kind of cool. I don't know that I'll necessarily keep it on there. It might come off. Uh, we might do something different. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm trying to figure out still how I want to set up the receiver box. I think what I'm going to do, I don't like the Techno built-in one uh, for a couple reasons. One, I um, kind of want some weight back here, and I know that doesn't add a lot of weight, but um, it's not really waterproof either. And so what I want to do is get the, the Red Cat Kaju. Um, radio box and what I like about that is it has a body post in the front with a uh, pin so you can just pull that and open it up and have easy access to it and if you're running something like Castle's Blue, uh, B-Link Bluetooth uh, receiver setup um, it's kind of nice to have easy access to the radio box and I don't I, you know I want it waterproof I like to wash my vehicles and set them up so I want to get it kind of waterproofed a little bit um, and then I do have the castle motor in here. Uh, I got my pro modeler servo. So everything is coming together and I can see the finish line. I'm gonna exchange out a couple pieces here um, that I want. And then when the radio box gets here, hopefully today, um, I can get that mounted up uh, the way I want it. It might actually just go right here on that side. So I can get that mounted up the way that I want uh, to have that mounted. And then we'll be kind of ready to throw some tires on here, plug a battery in, and tune the ESC um, program, the radio, make sure that everything, you know, go through the final checks, make sure everything's ready to go, and then we'll be able to get out and, and run this thing and try it and see um, how it's going. So um, here's what it looks like with the POS bumper on it. So these are made in Germany. Um, kind of expensive to get over here in the states but you got the skid protector and then kind of curves up to this and you got some flex in there and that's kind of nice um, I think those are gonna be uh, fantastic and I carry them in the store too for multiple different vehicles I have them for the MT410 I have them for the sledge um, basically I, I can be a distributor for him here in the United States so that's fantastic and then you know decked out pretty much front to back with m2c the only thing yeah only thing really more i can add m2c wise is i mean i could do the cvds but i got the gpm ones um i could do the shock standoffs and that might be about it or the droop screws i suppose too because um, i'm using the techno ones that came with it for now but that's about where we're at right now. I'm going to get these shock springs changed out, 
get the radio box put in and then I'll kind of come back and do an overview of everything uh, for you guys once that is all completed. So thanks for checking this video out. Please like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to have a 2,000 subscriber giveaway of some sort. I don't know what we're going to do, uh, but we're going to do a giveaway for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. So help us get there. Share this out. Uh, share the channel out with your friends and and family and once we get to 2000 we're gonna do something cool uh, to give away and then I'm thinking every thousand from there we're gonna give away an RC car uh, just something that I want to do personally to give back to everybody that watches and to grow the channel uh, I don't need 10,000 RC cars I can only drive so many at a time so I think it would be cool to uh, start giving away some RC cars and giving back to the community and we'll do something cool where you can enter to win um, on garageliferc.com or something like that to where we can have some cool contests and giveaways and and really uh, give back to you guys so thanks again for checking this out this truck is coming along coming together well and I'm super excited to get it out and and see if I built the ultimate basher, basher or if I'm going to run into some issues um, that I run into with every other vehicle. So I, I think there'll probably be a few issues here and there, a few kinks that we got to work out. But um, overall, I think this thing is going to be super solid and probably one of my favorite vehicles that I have. So thanks for checking out. Thanks for stopping by. And we will talk to you very, very soon.